Hi, Christina Brown here with the Brown team at Remix. Wanted to discuss with you the difference between FISBO or for sale by owner and using an agent. So I've done a lot of stats on this subject and we understand why homeowners think that for sale by owner may be worth a try. In this market, everything is selling, yes. It is true, everything is selling. However, it still may not be your best option. With your best interest at heart, here are reasons why. First of all, let's discuss what a for sale by owner is saving, let's say. They think they're saving, first of all, let's say commissions, they're negotiable. But let's just say for example purposes, hey, you list it, you're paying 6%, 3% for each agent, for example. And so for sale by owners think, oh, I'm saving 6%. When most of the time they are still, it says, I did a lot of stats, 77% of for sale by owners actually offer 3% and end up paying 3%. So really, the majority are only saving 3%, but what is it costing you? So this is a very interesting stat. This actually averaged out the median sales price of a for sale by owner versus the median sales price of a home listed by an agent. So a for sale by owner home, their median sales price was 217,900. And that same market, those same homes, ended up with a median sell price when sold with an agent for $295,000. That's over $77,000 difference in average sales price or median sales price, which is 26% roughly difference in price. So to save three, to lose 26, you're not saving or making or helping yourself in any way. That's what people don't understand. We have the means to market, to get the property out there, to make it show at its best, and to give that great first impression, to get multiple buyers. You may get a really great strong offer for what you're asking, but are you asking the right amount? Could you get more offers? Could more buyers drive it up? That's what we see when you list it. So that's what really, really makes the difference. Something we hear a lot too in talking to people is the safety and convenience of dealing with an agent, right? We know what kind of questions to ask people. We always pre-qualify people before we show them houses. We want to make sure they have their pre-approval squared away, that they've been checked out by our lender, and that they are truly the real deal, ready to go, legit, serious people. So we're not just letting any yahoo in these houses. And then the other thing to that is, of course, convenience. When you're doing it yourself, it can be frustrating, it can be complex, you're not really sure what you're doing, how to vet people, but also who are you letting in? And you're having to get off work to meet these people, you're having to show it, you don't get as many showings that way, I can tell you, because we've dealt with bringing our buyers to these kinds of homes, and it is complex. They are not fun to work for that reason, because a seller isn't readily available like we are, that is definitely not an advantage for sure to trying to do it on your own. The other thing is of course we have experience, we have success, we have a proven track record. I'm not going to list a house if I truly don't plan on selling it, right? Why am I going to pay money marketing it and time, effort, energy unless I know that thing's going to sell. So that is based on price, knowing our market, knowing what works. Whereas um, one of the stats I read said for sale by owners are 11% of them are successful, 11%. But then I put successful in quotations because I feel like what's your definition of being successful? Because I don't think this is successful. You may get it sold and save yourself 3%, but you could be losing 26% because if you listed it, you may have gotten quite a bit more. So I don't know that I consider that successful because 11% make it to the closing table on their own. I don't know that that necessarily makes it successful. One of the bigger factors too I see, and this is just being completely honest, when we list a home, we're looking for certain things, we're looking for flaws. We are required, even if our seller doesn't disclose material defects, we as professional agents take ethics classes and are required in order to keep our license in good standing, must point out those things and mention those things and so therefore we're able to prevent a lot of 
legal issues later. Now, I'm not an attorney, I can't give you legal advice, I'm not trying to do so, but my point with that is, that's another issue that a lot of people don't think about and consider are a lot of times, the last stat I read is over 80% of for sale by owners end up in court later. So, I don't know, I wanna be able to sleep at night and I don't consider that a success if I have to pay an attorney later to defend myself and you may or may not get there, you know. But we know the steps it takes to get to closing. We know how to vet those buyers. We'll make sure that before you even accept a contract that that buyer has actually been pre-qualified and checked out and their credit's been checked and all of those things, right? So that's super, super, super key. And one of the biggest factors for sell by owners complain about and really honestly have no idea about, and I think thus leading to part of that leaving 26% on the table, is they have no idea really, truly, honestly where to price their home. So the house next door may have sold for this much and the house on the other side may have sold for this much and they're two extreme opposites. Well, of course, the one that sold for most is the one you're hoping you get, but what if your home isn't even comparable in any way to any of those? So we're able to really price it right. We have really good pricing tools and we know our stuff and we're really trying to compare apples to apples. And it makes sense when you hear an agent go over these comps with you. I always have sellers, like I can see when this light bulb moment goes on, when they see that the price is right and where it should be. But also pricing it right from the beginning is gonna get you more eyeballs, more activity, more offers, like all of that feeds into each other, right? We can get you all the exposure we can get, but if it's not priced right, that doesn't matter. Buyers will overlook, move over it, and move on to the next one. So pricing it right will of course make you more successful and honestly in the long run, make you more money. So to me, this is a no brainer. And then you'll have peace of mind and be able to sleep better at night. Anyways, this is the number one reason people try to do for sale by owner. And I think it's the number one reason you shouldn't. So hope that helps. If you need anything, have questions, reach out. Have a great day.